Daggy and PA back with another video. So guys, it breaks my heart to make videos like this. And, and I'm going to make a series of videos like this where I was born and raised in Washington State. Okay. My parents chose Washington State to raise me and my siblings because it was a great place to grow up, guys. It was great. You know, the food was good, coffee was good, outdoor activities, schools were good. I had a really good su suburban upbringing. And to see how far Western Washington has fallen, all the major cities suffer from all the typical stuff that liberal run cities are suffering from crime, homelessness, woke, all this craziness. Okay. And it, it breaks my heart. This new story is about Tacoma, Washington. We're going to see how far. Tacoma has fallen. But before we get into this new story, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And let's get into it and see what's going on in Tacoma, Washington. Oh, well, people and business owners tell me that they want action now. They tell me that they want the mayor to put forward a plan that, that, that they will actually get done because they say that crime is getting out of control. Crime, homelessness, and housing affordability. Affordability. Those are all things people in Tacoma tell me they want to see change. Over the past few years, many said things are getting worse. It's getting to the point to where kids can't go to the park. You know, they, they can't. There's needles all over the place. There's people just smoking at the bus stops and stuff. And it's just it's just gotten a little bit out of hand, I feel like. Ahead of Mayor Victoria Woodard's State of the City address, business owners I talked to today say that they're frustrated about the constant crime. Robin Clark's business has been broken into several times and recently had two fires. He said it's time the mayor stepped up to protect businesses. That she actually is going to increase the police force. That she actually is going to let the police do their jobs. And here's the thing with a lot of cities, well, with Washington State as a state and a lot of other cities, they address that there's an issue. They throw money at the issue. But they don't have measurable outcomes as to how they're going to solve the issue. We're just going to keep throwing money at the homelessness. But what are you what are the what are you going to do to measure the effectiveness of where that money is going? I spent a lot of time in Washington. I worked for Washington State for, for a while. And I can tell you a lot of these liberal states throw money at problems with no real way to determine the, the effectiveness of those dollars. It's like they just want to see that something's being done, something, anything, whether it, it's effective or not. And unfortunately, the people of Tacoma and, and these cities are having to suffer because of this. Um, and she's going to put a little bit of a control. Ken, who lives in Tacoma, told me that in order to address crime, there needs to be more enforcement. I would like to hear the more police in Washington state. Uh, uh. That ain't happening, guys. I can tell you that right now. The, the city is, is finally going to get tough. You know, it's time that, you know, we just start looking at do the crime, do the time. Well, people also tell me they are concerned about homelessness in Tacoma. They said that they want the mayor to focus. Look at that. Look at that. It's awful. It, and that's what my hometown lo looks like now. You know, you you can, in fact, guys, you you could just YouTube homelessness Washington State, and you'll see people just filming homeless encampments in various cities in Washington State. It's it's just disgusting. What a horrible state of affairs. And this, like I said, this is stereotypical liberal-minded city foolishness on resources to help them. They really do need more of a focus on like the mental health of these people and not just uh, the, the physical look or, or where they're at in their stature in life. I reached out to the mayor's office ahead of her speech. Now they sent me a statement that says that the mayor will be announcing new actions to address priorities of the city. Now we will be following exactly what those plans are. But for now, reporting in Tacoma, Karina Vargas, that's the end of that, guys. That's it for. I don't know what it's going to take for states like Washington, Oregon, and California to actually do something about these problems. I don't understand it. And, you know, I, I want to see the... I, I got to do some research because I know during the cough cough, a whole lot of Californians moved to Austin, Texas. I want to see what these people are, are saying about the difference between living 
and Texas and California because California is as bad, if not worse, than Washington State when it comes to all this homelessness, crime, foolishness. You know, if, if you're part of my audience and you live in Oregon or in California or Washington State, let me know what you think about this. Is this a big issue in your city? Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you on the next one.